so work. So I should be able to go to your problem and tell how you do it. It doesn't have to be the same way I do it. In fact, you should do it the way that you think is best. And so let's say after this um, lecture, you still don't know how to do conversion problems or you want more practice. And so you go to Khan Academy. I like Khan Academy a lot. They do some great videos. And Khan Academy does it in a slightly different way or even a totally different way than I do. And you like Khan Academy's way. Great, do it Khan Academy's way. Do it my way. Do it the way that your tutor or your study group mate does it. Any of those ways is fine. Just make sure you can show your work. So, but we're not done here because um, I have centimeters squared here. And I only have centimeters, so that doesn't cancel all the way. So here's what I want to show you about this. So this right here is a unit conversion factor, and it's okay. And it doesn't happen often, but it's okay to square unit conversion factors. And when we do that, this is equal to saying one centimeter squared equals one times 10 to the minus two uh, meters squared. And it's a little harder to enter, enter into your calculator, but it does come up often enough that I want to cover it. And then for this one, we also want to square it. And this is it, uh, like saying one millimeter squared equals one times 10 to the minus three meters squared as well. Okay, and we're gonna need our squared button quite a bit in this class too. All right, so now how to do this on your calculator? Well, there's the last problem. First enter in 10. You can enter in just 10 or you can enter in 10.0, but the calculator just thinks it's 10 anyway. Now on the top, I have one times 10 to the minus two squared. So let's do one, hold on, did I enter? No, so multiply. One exponent button is times 10 to the two minus. And then I have my squared button up here. So I'm going to hit squared and it squares it for me. Now I'm going to hit divide by one exponent three minus squared. And my answer is 1000. And my units are, well, my centimeter squareds cancel out my meter squareds cancel out and I'm left with millimeter squared. I know that's fancy math, but uh, we do see it from time to time and so I wanted to show it to you. 90 plus percent of the time, we do not square conversion factors. In fact, I'd say 95 plus, but I wanna make you aware of how to do it. Down here, we have another companion problem, CP. Let me put the whole page on the screen again there. And now let's start talking about significant figures. And we'll start significant figures anyway. Uh, I don't know if we'll finish them before we take another break. Um, significant figures is a system of rules for reporting measurements that communicates how well the value has been measured. A, always report all of the digits for which you are sure of, plus one more that you have some information about. And we're gonna talk about this a lot in lab, and we're gonna talk about it a little in lecture. But what I've got is I've got a picture of a graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder, where graduated means with markings. Right, We all hope to be graduated someday, but in a different sense, not in the sense that it means with markings. So it means with markings, and you can see the markings on this graduated cylinder, and I've even got a close-up here. And one of the things I wanna show you about this close-up is what's called the meniscus. 
And the meniscus is this curved interface of the water in a, uh, of the water. The curved interface of water. And when you get to lab, whether it's this class or any other class, uh, you always read the bottom of the meniscus. Always read the bottom of the meniscus. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> okay, so um, let me change that just a tiny bit to always read the center of the meniscus. Sorry about that. The center of the meniscus. Meniscus. And it just so happens that 99% of the time, the center of the meniscus is also the bottom of the meniscus. Ninety-nine percent of the time, the center is the bottom. And so it was tempting for me to write that, but technically the way to read the meniscus is always in the center. And so if we were going to read this meniscus, we would read it right at the bottom. And you would see that this bottom is at eight. 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, and it's a little above 8.3. So the reading is 8.3 for sure, and then it's going to be 8.32, 8.31, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.97, 8.98, 8.99, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19, 8.20, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23, 8.24, 8.25, 8.26, 8.27, 8.28, 8.29, 8.30, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, 8.34, 8.35, 8.36, 8.37, 8.38, 8.39, 8.40, 8.41, 8.42, 8.43, 8.44, 8.45, 8.46, 8.47, 8.48, 8.49, 8.50, 8.51, 8.52, 8.53, 8.54, 8.55, 8.56, 8.57, 8.58, 8.59, 8.60, 8.61, 8.62, 8.63, 8.64, 8.65, 8.66, 8.67, 8.68, 8.69, 8.70, 8.71, 8.72, 8.73, 8.74, 8.75, 8.76, 8.77, 8.78, 8.79, 8.80, 8.81, 8.82, 8.83, 8.84, 8.85, 8.86, 8.87, 8.88, 8.89, 8.90, 8.91, 8.92, 8.93, 8.94, 8.95, 8.96, 8.
There are three sig fins. And the number I've got right here, I have only two sig figs because these zeros over here do not follow rule number two. Okay. And so the short answer is there are two sig figs for this number. And if I write this in scientific notation, all of the, so let's say this, these zeros are going to disappear. So let me write it in scientific notation. 6.9 times 10 to the minus three, where the minus three comes from the fact that I'm moving it one, two, three decimal places. So see this now, oh yes, very clear. Well, hopefully somewhat clear anyway. Two significant figures. This number down here has four sig figs. And you see this number here, 51,000 fans. So 51,000 fans may be like a number of people who attended a uh, Washington uh, does not have a name um, football game. And you're like, well, is there really 51,000 or did they just estimate that? Well, so here's what I want you to do. So first off, 51,000 fans is ambiguous. Ambiguous. Uh, meaning that we can't tell how many significant figures it has. But if I write it as 5.1 times 10 to the fourth fans, then it becomes clear. All becomes clear for how you're reporting answers and numbers when you put it in scientific notation. Now this number has two sig figs. We're reviewing sig figs now, but I uh, just sort of introducing them actually. We will talk a lot about sig figs in lab. And we'll talk a little bit more about sig figs now. So five, exact numbers or definitions have infinite sig figs. For example, there are only seven days in a week. Have you ever gotten to a week and there were 7.3 days? No, because, I mean, it'd be nice. You know, sometimes I wish there were 25 hours in a day, but there's only 24. So uh, one week equals exactly seven days. There's no wiggle room there. There's no error. That's what I mean by exact numbers or definitions have infinite sig figs. It's like saying 1.0000000 dot 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 week equals 7.0000000 dot 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 days. There's no error in that. That's what I mean by infinite sig figs. How to tell a definition? They almost never have decimal places. Look, no decimal places in one meter equals 100 centimeters. No decimal places in one week equals seven days. However, there's one definition that has decimal places, and that is one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now, I ask you to print them out. It's okay if you didn't. But if you go to the syllabus and a schedule section, you'll see something called the conversions and equ equation sheets. And look, right here on here, uh, one quart equals a number of milliliters. Um, oh, there it is. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So during exams, during homework, I suggest that you print out all of these pages and have them to study from. Um, and so you can see there's three or four pages there.
but you are allowed to use those for exams. In fact, I will assume you are using those pages for exams. Now in um, lab, it'll also be important that when you do a division problem um, or a multiplication problem that you uh, know how to keep track of sig figs. For a multiplication and division, the answer has the same number of sig figs as the number in the calculation with the fewest sig figs. So uh, let me do by example what that means. The top number has three sig figs. The bottom number has four sig figs. Fewest sig figs in this problem is three. That means our answer has three sig figs. So when we do the math, which is 56.1 divided by 12.01, we get a number that has so many digits but we are only going to record the first three of those, 4.67. And with units canceling here, the answer should also have units of moles. We're not so worried about the units right now. Let's see, I've got a couple pages. I've got two pages left and then we'll be time for another break. Here I have two sig figs. Here on the bottom, I have seven. <laughs> so our answer will only have two sig figs. So let me do the math part now. 1.2 divided by 1674295. I get 7.2. Well, I get 7.16, but it rounds to 7.2. Times 10 to the minus 7. And those should be grams per milliliter. One more. On my top number, I have three sig figs. It looks like my bottom number has 60 minutes per hour. And 60 minutes per hour is a definition. From the previous page, remember, definitions have infinite sig figs. So this definition has infinite sig figs. And that's important because if the bottom number has infinite sig figs and the top number has three sig figs, three is less. So when I do this math, it will be 47.6 divided by 60, 0 0.793333333, we're only reporting it to three sig figs, 0 0.793. And with canceling units, the units should be hours. One more page, that's for addition and subtraction. For addition and subtraction, the answer of the math has the same number of sig figs as the number in the calculation with the fewest number of decimal places. Let me show you, oh, and um, stack them up. When you did math, when I first learned how to do subtraction, the way that I learned how to do subtraction was by stacking them up. And so let's read through this problem and I'll show you. Initially, the burette reads 0 0.16 milliliters after adding water to the beaker, the final burette reading is 21.67 milliliters. What volume of water has been added to the beaker? Well, it's the difference between these two. So it's gonna be the difference or subtraction, 21.67 minus 0 0.16. This is what I mean by stack them up. 
you can still do the math on your calculator, 21.67 minus 0.16, I get 21.51. But you'll notice that the fewest number of decimal places is two decimal places. The fewest number of decimal places is two decimal places. And that means that your answer also has two decimal places. Your answer also has two decimal places. And that means that this is our final answer. Even though this number only had two sig figs, the final answer has four. This last one's gonna be a companion problem. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for another five minute break. Uh, we'll be back at uh, 10.50 this time, and um, then we'll do more. We're already on page 22, so we're making good progress. And I did not get to finish my snack last time, so I will be snacking this time. So I'm going to be uh, turn off my video for a minute.